back, no problem. And the uh, stock, I see. Yep, I see all the stops. The stops are good. You go for a uh, maneuver away from the structure to start the uh, uh, tilt pan test. Okay, we're going to do a, uh, a one second pulse first just for uh, direction of motion. Three, three, two, one, now. That is good motion. Then I'm clear you can do the pan tilt test right here. Okay, we'll do it right now. We're going to do tilt first. Copy. Hey, we're looking at you, buddy. Tilt up? Hell yeah, that is a great picture. <laughs> in fact, uh, we're, uh, we're going to pan it a little bit just to zoom it in right on you. Okay. Mike Fossum preening for the elbow camera on the uh, shuttle's robotic arm now that the pan and tilt unit has been freed up, no longer required to be uh, restrained by those launch restraint straps. Here comes the motion away. Let me know when it's uh, good to continue. Three, two, one, now. The view now uh, from Ron Garin's uh, helmet camera as uh, he is at the uh, starboard one truss working uh, to release a series of attachment devices holding the orbiter boom sensor system uh, to the mounting bracket on that truss. The boom, uh, if you recall, uh, could not be launched aboard Discovery because of the size of the Kibo science module in the payload bay of the orbiter.